Hello and welcome to Earth Dragon Bricks. Okay, so we're back with another series, this time series 24. These little pink little bags. Not particularly keen on the colour myself, but this is what we're going to be doing. Last time we did series 23. And as before, I've got three of the ones that I particularly like. So let's roll the credits and I'll go into more details about what this is about. Let's do it. Okay, so as I mentioned, I've got three brand new Series 24 bags released earlier this year. I think it was around about February time. It could have been January, I can't remember. It's a while ago now. And they normally come in about 12, I think, is it 12? Yeah, 12 different variations. As with the last set, there were only three that really stood out to me that I really wanted to get hold of. And all things going well, these are the correct sets. But I'll go into a bit more details in a minute as, as to the adventure of getting these, because there is a little bit of a story on this, of, of getting these. But hopefully these three characters are the ones I hoped for, and um, we will find out as we open them up. So as I mentioned, I only bought three different ones that I particularly liked and wanted to get into my set. But when I went to go and pick them up, they hadn't yet put them together in their different sets. Because what they normally do is they do a little field guide to see which character's which, put in a special bag, and people just come in and buy the whole set in one go, or whatever ones they want. Unfortunately, on this occasion, they actually arrived the same day. So when I arrived when the store opened, they hadn't done the field guide, and literally I was doing the field guide as we spoke. So it took me about 20 minutes to get the three that I wanted. So it was a bit of an adventure. But there were three really, really good ones on this one. I mean, some of the ones here are particularly good, but there's only really three that I was specifically after. So hopefully that's what's going to be in these bags. So without further ado, let's open one of these bags up and I'll catch you at the end to see what we got. Here we go. Okay, so as I said, this is the minifigure series 24. I've only bought three of them because there's only three that I really, really wanted. We're going to start on bag one. So I'm going to put these three aside and take it from there. So let's go. Let's open it up. A pair of scissors in there, but never mind. Bit of ASMR for you. Those that are into that sort of thing. Gosh, really glued in there. Goodness me. There we go. Right. Okay. There we go. Okay, so the one thing I am seeing so far is this little bag right here. Not sure what it is and why they've got extra plastic in there. Not quite sure where Lego's going with that. I have been told that they are supposed to be going away from that, but they're not there yet. But I always wonder why they put an extra bit of plastic inside plastic. It doesn't always make sense to me, but that's the way it is. Anyway, let's carry on. Okay, so you might notice the plastic bag is empty at the moment, but there is a hole in it already because it had literally been glued to the bottom of the bag. So whatever was in there is loose in the bag now, but yeah, just proves it doesn't really need it. I'm seeing parts of this character already, but I'm not quite sure what it was. I don't remember this particular character, but it might just be, I just forgot what it looks like. But um, I don't remember there being this particular a cape in there. So uh, we'll carry on.
Okay, so now I've got all the pieces out, set up, ready for the final part of this animation. But when I saw the cape, I didn't quite realise who it was, and it is one of the characters I chose. But what do you think it is? Have you seen this series yet? If not, take your guesses now as to what it's going to be. But let's get going. Okay, so we've got our little orc or ogre or whatever you want to call him. As I said, when I saw him come out of the bag, I forgot what character had a cloak. It didn't occur to me that it was an ogre. It's been so long since I've got these. There's only like one, possibly two that I remember specifically, but I did forget about the ogre. But what do you think of this character? I think he looks pretty, pretty cool. Great chin, I love the little I love the little chin piece. The shield is particularly nice. And the sword looks like something from a certain a certain video game, even though it's not officially licensed or anything like that. But um but what do you think? Anyway, I'm gonna pass you back to the studio for a closer on this one and join me there. See you in a minute. Bye bye now.
Okay, so that's bag one done. So let's have a look at the character, see what we got, and I'll talk about what I think about this particular character. So we had this little ogre or orc or whatever creature you think it should be. It's more of an ogre to me, but I could be wrong. You let me know in the comments down below what you think this is. I'm sure Lego have a, a specific name for it, but there you go. So as I said, there are three different characters that I was really keen on. This was definitely one of them. It's not my top favourite. There was a couple of others that were higher, but this is definitely one of the characters that I was looking for to get in this set. And I've got to say, he is very cool. He is very, very cool. Some of the other characters didn't think that much, but this guy is really, really good. Um, he's got an amazing little face, which you'll see in the uh, photo shoot if you haven't seen that already. Um, amazing little face with a jaw part that's separate to give him those like teeth that sort of stick up and give him that real kind of kind of features. He's got a very jagged sword. I'm sure I've seen these swords elsewhere. I think they were in the uh, Ninjago set, but it's metal this time, so it's got a different colour to it unlike the one that was in the Ninjago set. And I really love what they've done with the shield, with that little weird little skull kind of, again, with that really, uh, you know, really gritty teeth, teeth element to it. So it's definitely a skull of his own culture, so his own clan or whatever. So he's obviously battled with other ogres and stuff like that. Not to mention, there's plenty of detail on both the back and the front in terms of his outfit and uniform. But I think he's a really, really cool character, and he's got this little feather in his hat as well. What do you think of this particular guy? I love him. I'm looking forward to the other two characters to see if they are who I think they are. What do you think of him? So as I mentioned, there are 12 characters in this series. Three of them that I've really liked, one of them that I've already built, and there's two more left to go. Who do you think that I've chosen for the final two characters? Let me know in the comments below, and we'll see if you're right on the next video when it gets released. Before I conclude today, just a couple of announcements. One, I have another channel called Earth Dragon Art where I mostly deal with traditional art and the odd digital. There will be some other projects as well on top of that, but if you want to check that out, then I'll put a link in the description below and possibly a card just above my head here. Secondly, I've released a poll for the next set of videos I'm going to be doing on this channel. So head over there and choose which magazine series you'd like me to do next after this current series has ended, and I'll let you know in a few weeks' time. Finally, if you want to support this channel or my art channel, I've also signed up to buymeacoffee.com. No obligation at all, and any donations you do provide will go back to making this channel better and better, including lighting, equipment, and other things to help this channel grow. Anyway, thanks again for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Be sure to give it a thumbs up if you did. Also, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss future episodes on this channel. Other than that, thank you very much for watching. Keep breaking it, and I'll catch you later. Bye-bye now.